Happy Friday, everybody. Hola, que tal, como estas? I'd like to start off by sending a lot of prayers and love to the families who lost the 17 um, that drowned in that boating accident in uh, Missouri. My uh, great-great-great-grandfather took a covered wagon to Missouri. Um, Alfred was his name. And uh, they are from um, the Boomies, uh, way out there. I can't think of the name of it. The Ozarks. And then I had a great-grandfather named John. Apparently he was really smart. But uh, yeah, my dad had fond memories of those days. A lot of interbreeding and stuff, I guess. No. <laughs> so anyway, I want to send to um, send some prayers and love. I'll light my candle when I get home. I also received a book yesterday, and I'm going to contact her and thank her. She's a client. I'll let you guys know if it's fantastic. I think it's going to be. She's a Muskoki Creek Indian, and it's Crazy Brave by Joe Harjo or Hargo. Um, I can't wait to read it. I just got it in the mail yesterday, and what a beautiful energy form! Just gorgeous. Um, so she, she's a delight. She's in Tennessee right now, but I told my cousin staff, we're Comanches. And my cousin was raised in Comanche country, so she knows about what's up. And when I told her that what her tribe was, she said, oh, those are the medicine people. Those are the people, you know, cause Comanches were cray cray. <laughs> they were fighters. They're very ego drawn. I mean, you can just look at them. Um, I'm not saying Native Americans had is issues, but there were certain ones that were more connected earthwise. We were warriors. Um, I do know that my grandmother, who I never got to meet, she died in childbirth in 1945. Um, I know she was connected. She was psychic, but you know, they were all Catholic. They were forced to be Catholic. And so, um, she, you know, she would read quietly. I had a cousin who remembered her reading for her grandmother, which was my grandfather's sister. And uh, I was like, Mom, why didn't you tell me your mom was intuitive, psychic? And she goes, I didn't know that. But uh, yet other family members knew. So that could be part of my psycho connection. Um, I want to tell you guys something. I just want to bring it up. We'll do a quick look see i've been getting a lot of oh by the way oh my god the clients i've been receiving those of you i've read but you're i'm having so much fun it's like i don't want to hang up but i know i have another client but people are just fabulous i mean what they have to say who they are i i can't believe my luck i haven't gotten any hard nose types um you know, when I start to read you, if it doesn't click within the first 15 minutes, I call it and give you your money back. And it's not necessarily your fault or my fault. If it's just not happening, I'm not going to waste your time. And uh, the good news is that's only happened like four times in 10 years. So, but it's got to click. So everybody's clicking. It's like, whoa, it's like I'm going through these adventures with people about who they are and what they're about. But I want to tell you guys something. Um, you know the terrorist action I've been, been feeling, and a lot of people are writing me. By the way, I found my calendar. Thank you very much. Found it. It was stuck behind a drawer with no other papers, just stuck individually. But I lost my diamond earring. So if you can help me with that. <laughs> and I can't tell you when I last felt them or knew that they were there. My ears are still sort of numb from the surgery. But yeah, lost a diamond earring. I tend to do that a lot. Okay, and I have those screw types, so who knows? My son came in this morning. Now, my son is a Libra, Jake. He's the sweetest, just energetically. I'm so proud of him being my son, and he's really smart. You know, he wanted to go and be an astrophysicist, but now he's looking at other places to go, but he definitely doesn't believe in any of this. He's a agnostic or whatever. He doesn't really believe he's a Sam Harris fan. Um, he, you may say he might even make fun at me every once in a while, but when he was a little boy, 
I'm telling you, he used to have visions. So he comes in this morning and he sits down on my bed and he says, Mom, I had the weirdest dream last night. I said, what's that? He said, I dreamt I was sitting on your bed and you started to panic. And you were saying, oh my God, oh my God, there's going to be a disaster. A disaster is coming. And he was like confused, like what? And then he said, I grabbed my cards and I was throwing my cards and I was saying, there's going to be, it's bad, Jake, it's bad. But he wasn't picking up like it was going to affect us. It was like in the world. And he put, um, he put, I put out one card that had the face of my Sean, the one who was in Black, uh, Black Panther. Remember the warrior? I ha her face was on the card. And I said, this is the opinion holder. Okay, weird. He remembered that. And then he said um, that he knew something bad was going to happen. When he woke up, he was glad it was a dream. But, you know, he's telling me about it. But I can't tell you that he believes it. Although that my, my Sean was, was interesting. So, you know, I started feeling, is it natural disaster? Is it, is it that terrorist action that I felt coming up? So if you guys don't mind, I just want to throw it real quick on my son's dream. Then we have a whole bunch of stuff real quick to go over. Tell me about my son's dream. Because let me tell you one thing about me, when I have dreams, they're prophetic. Except I never had sex with Paul McCartney in real life, but <laughs> you would believe all the people I've been with. So, um, tell me about my son's dream. Is it true? Is there some sort of natural disaster or terrorist action coming up? I just heard yes. You know, it could also mean that my reading people is a disaster. <laughs> it could mean me, myself, is having a disaster. Okay, so here's the intuitive. Here's information, the karmic star, so it's as prophesized. Okay, his dream seems to be something not related with, with, with terrorist action. His dream seems like there's sort of a natural course of sadness coming up. I mean, I could have even lost relatives in that uh, boat accident in Missouri, being that my family's from Missouri. So they're originally from Virginia. I think we came into North Carolina, and then we went to Virginia. And my great, 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 great grandfather, I went and saw his grave site in Tennessee, Sumner, Tennessee. He was buried with his wife and all his slaves were around them. But the good news is when he died, he gave portions of the land to each slave. Um, that's the good news. And then my mom is Mexican Indian, so go figure. So, um, okay, so there is something that feels you know, this feels more like money. Okay, sorry. This is not necessarily an upheaval in the earth. Tell me what you want to tell me. Tell me what is what my son is saying. Like I'm not seeing people hurt or dying. Um, what, is, what is it? Okay, here we go. What kind of disaster is it? The angel of light and mercy standing on it. So this is as prophesized. Um, this just feels like upheavals with the earth, but I don't see mass death or anything. Um, and it could cause the the um, stock market to start going down. It could be the upcoming hurricanes and stuff that's coming up. Did you guys see that tornado that hit? 
um, was it Iowa? Jesus Christ, you guys. I'm telling you, there's a lot of earth-related stuff that's getting ready to occur. Um, but I don't want to frighten you, and I want to tell you that even though my son had that dream, it's not taking people's lives, but it feels like it affects their pocketbook somewhat. So it could just be, you know what I'm saying? That volcano thing didn't show horrible, but it was horrible, but because it was money related and I don't know how many homes got lost, but not as many homes as what happened to me up where I live with the fire. So, um, but the main thing is lives. I think there was one life lost. Yeah, so it's, it's almost like assuring me everything's gonna be okay. All right. If I get something else, I'll let you know. Okay, so, listen, I got to ask about Putin coming to the United States, and let me tell you something. Now, him, I feel, is a disaster. I definitely feel that if Trump doesn't, I don't know. You know, Trump is in his pocket. Trump is bought and paid for. That is a fact. And why would all these people hustle and try to keep and say, no, no, you can't get the um, interpreter to testify? Why? Because, it, listen, if this was Hillary Clinton, are you kidding? They would have been passing around her dirty underwear. But they don't want people to know how deep, between the money that gets passed to these Republicans, and maybe there's even Democrats that get money too, but I'm telling you, I feel like the Russian people were tapping into people around Trump. Because remember, they were all saying, no way. What was it Paul Ryan said? How could I even look my daughter in the face? Well, he's got his ass up in Trump's rear. Or his face up in Trump's rear. So it's, it's like they all knew that people weren't for him, so they needed everybody to work for him or to help him. So I feel like they came in and did things. Okay, all right. Tell me about Putin. Is there any more information you tell me? Okay, I did take a little qu quick peek about November, about Putin coming and the tower showed. So let's take a look. Is he actually gonna come to the United States in November? Is he gonna come? Here's the offer. Here's the parade. Oh, he might be cut off at the pass. There's money information being found out. Um, there's money information being found out. Did I ever tell you guys I thought Putin was gonna be taken out? Well, Val, actually be here in the United States in November for the parade. I know him and Trump talk all the time. I can see them talking. Some sort of secret line. You know who I just picked up is scared? Um, what's his name? Jared. I don't know why I just picked up that he's panicked and he's talking to his father in law. Actually come to the United States in November. I don't have a problem with having a good relationship with Putin. What I have a problem is being bought and paid for. There's one thing if we extend a hand and be kind, I mean Obama got and every other president would got whipped if they decided to be kind to a a dictator but now all of a sudden it's cool but the only reason it's cool is because they're bought and paid for and I'm telling you he's got stuff on Donald Trump big time okay well you guys I saw the tower and I saw a lot of scattering and I saw a lot of information coming and I hate to tell you this, I think Trump may still be president come November. Um, 
but uh, I'm telling you, he's going soon after. Remember, I told you he's going to get hit, 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 hit. I felt September, some hits, but the people around him. And he desperately wants to look good. But they're showing that it, it's so much stress, but I'm not seeing it canceled. When I ask a question, if the my cards have the nine of cups in the, the hope streams and we hope streams section, it usually means yes. So something with money, like he still needs money from Putin. I don't know where the hell he gets his money. You know, we're holding up a bunch of money in the United States and that is Putin's focus and he wants that money. So there's a lot of stuff coming up. Um, let's ask her about September. September is very strong. Tell me about September. September with Donald Trump. September with Donald Trump. Putin is furious. I can see him like pacing with that, you know, he's got that look like his parents were alcoholics or something. Those eyes deep set, kind of close together. He's furious. Let me tell you, if he could kill people in the United States, he would. And don't be surprised if something happens. Like I see, they're looking at that girl that's in jail right now, the informant. Like, if they could get next to her, she'd be gone suddenly. Oh, there's so many hits come September. I'm telling you guys, the Ten of Swords. The Nine of Swords. Um, battling. There she is. Something to do with that woman. Um, people, the United States is feeling stronger. The United States is feeling, you know, like more empowered. So a lot of stuff is happening, but it's not as swift as we'd like. So he very may, may well be president. I could be wrong. Some people are saying he won't, and I hope they're right. I just have to tell you what I see. I do see him going, so I don't want you guys to worry. There's no 2020 for him. None. He's already planning on it, though. Yeah, and a lot of these guys want Russia to be next to them because they think they can get them voted in. I'm telling you, I don't know how Russia could change it, but I see individual people not voting for Trump or his cohorts. It's kind of amazing how, be how beautiful this will be. So, and then after November, after November, probably what? When do the new people come in? January? That's when it, it's hit, and I see him negotiating. I see Trump negotiating. I know y'all want him to go to jail and be thrown out, but I, it could, I just see him getting hit. It'll be a slower death for him. It'll be where everything is taken away from him. Manafort knows it's over, too. I don't think Manafort, I don't know. Remember, did I say that I didn't see him squealing? Manafort thinks he's going to get um, help from Trump, but Trump is going to be out. Manafort's in big trouble. Okay, so let's look at Dan Coates because he was telling the truth and now he's shit. Don't talk about our president. Tell me about Dan Coates. Tell me about Dan Coates. Reminds me of my dad because he's bald and he has those spots. They probably remove cancer. Okay, tell me about Dan Coates. Dan Coates is a good man. The tower is the outcome, you guys. So they may try to push him out. Can I tell you, he, he's not bothered. He doesn't care. 
He's like, whatever. Oh, pushing out Dan Coates just because he spoke the truth and they'll be like, you, you need to go. Those people, are, oh, I can't wait. Can't wait, especially, especially Sarah Sanders. Ooh, girl. Mm, 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 mm. Can I get a hallelujah? Thank you. Oh, yeah. They're going to do something to Dan. They're going to do something. Trust me. But the outcome for him is like the world is coming in like, you know, what are you guys hiding? Why you, can't this guy tell the truth? It's really good. Yeah, Trump. I can see Trump is angry today. I can feel him. I can see him swearing and talking trash. Oh, I can't wait. You guys, I'm so sorry. I can't wait. By the beginning of next year, we should really be looking. We, we'll be trying to figure out what to talk about. I'll be back to talking to dead famous people then. Okay, so listen, I wanted to ask about the children. You know, it's not in the news as much. Remember I told you I thought either a death or some because there's children that are sick. They're, there's horrible stories coming out. Some of it's not true. Tell me about the children. Fortunately, we have judges working on their side saying, no, you're gonna do this and you're gonna do that. You're not gonna charge the families for getting their babies back. Tell me about the children. How's things going with the children that were taken away from their families or came here by themselves? What's gonna happen? Poor babies. The fortune will change, okay? Ooh, justice will come in and take care of it. You know these idiots did this, and do you know it costs more money than building the wall? <laughs> it's costing tons of money to do this, and there's tons of judgments going to happen. So, um, it's like the power of God is over this. This is like a really high powerful energy form and it's like tears falling on the United States. Fortunately, not all of us are cursed because they know we would have never agreed to this, but there's like this, this, it's like creating more black on us because this Trump is a black energy and Putin is just as bad. If you were psychically to look at Putin and he was to drop dead, you remember in the old days, if you if you died immediately, lice came out of your head? <laughs> well, I see black energy coming out of his body. Like they can't have that host anymore. So they they are creating and causing a lot of a lot of heartache. You can't hurt people like that and get away with it. Listen, you, you think you're getting away with it, but you're not, so so listen. Last question, and then I'll do. I'll be back again tomorrow. Um, I, I get a lot of people writing me, you guys, and I'm sorry I can't get to it all the time. I'm trying. I like I said, I may hire someone, but I don't know. It's just I enjoy my privacy. And um, but I want to ask about extraterrestrials. People ask me about that, and I want to know. I I had a friend years ago. And I asked some Russian people I know, you remember Chernobyl? Well, a lot of people witnessed an actual uh, vehicle, an ET vehicle, a spaceship over Chernobyl, bringing in a lot of that energy that would have been out in the world. Had they not stopped a lot of it, it would have been a lot worse. So, and I've seen some things, you know, from military, testimony by military, where they worked in a nuke site and the, and the spaceships come and shut them down, turn them back on. It's like they have an eye on us. And somebody, one of my clients yesterday said to me, you know, there will no, no nukes will happen again. They'll stop it, which I hope she's right. But tell me about ETs. Is this coming out in the open? Are we going to see them? I was in Arizona and used those military goggles and actually saw a 54 um, uh, spaceship. I'm telling you, because what they were doing is like there was two of them together. They were going up in the air. This is at a distance, of course. And they were in the sky. And then they went 
just totally opposite directions. So it's, I mean, I was on the fence, but after that I knew, oh, hell yeah, that's no satellite. That's an ET. So tell me as you, I've, I, I'm a little afraid of them, and I did have a pretty significant dream that I was on the coast, and I seen the one ship coming, and I was like already nervous, and then they were just like tons of them, like in that movie uh, with Steven Spielberg. So, um, was I seeing something in the future? Are they gonna come and have to save us? So we don't blow ourselves up? I just want to know if if I can read it through the cards. There's a book of Urantia. I don't know if any of you guys know that book. It's very interesting. It's almost its pages are thin like a Bible. It was somebody wrote it based on information they were receiving, and it's very detailed. And it talks about all the other uh, energies on other lives and other life forms and different planets and galaxies. And they did talk about Jesus and they all thought Jesus, the Christ consciousness, was coming to them. So they dolled their place up. They were like really looking forward to it. And they were surprised that it was chosen because his name on the other side is Michael, I guess. They were surprised that he chose Earth. Why would you go there? You know, I don't understand. And they ended up, um, he ended up coming and the story's magnificent. It's, and it says he was born August 20th. So anyway, but yeah, it's a good story. But I think there are other energies. I think there are other planets. I think there was walk-ins. Um, absolutely yes, absolutely yes. And I'm gonna tell you something. Um, It'll be another eight years before they're seen, but they'll be seen. Trust me, it's gonna happen. I don't know if I'll have anything to do with them because I don't think they're interested in me, but I see them working with people and helping people. The next president's really gonna do a lot of good for this country. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna let you go and I'll come back manana. Ciao.